Hi guys, Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury channel, Paul Pluto channel, paid reviews. Quick, 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 he goes, watch review request. I've sent you 30 US dollars for the video review. Hey Arch, I love your channel and I've been a loyal fan for a long time. I seek advice and a review of my watch collection. I currently own the following watches. Rolex, 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 Submariner 16610, Submariner. This is the steel bait Submariner. Uh... First sub Rolex that I ever purchased, so I'll never sell it. Number two, number two, Hulk Submariner. That's the ceramic Hulk fuckeroonies, the ceramic with the green bezel and green dial. A B L N E R Batman, na 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 Batman, Batman, fuckers, the GMT Rolex. And he's got a Polar Explorer 2 16570 with, oh, one of the last ones. He's got a 3186 movement. Now, <coughs> right at the end of production of the pre-42 ones, they had some of the, they used to use the 3185 movement. And right at the end, <coughs> they started using the 3186 movement in the Explorer 2s. That is the most desired movement in an Explorer 2. So he's got one of those. I am considering selling all my watches except my 116, sorry, except my Submariner, the, that's the 16610 to fund a Platinum. Fuck, a Platinum President Day Day. Ice Blue Motive dial, am I crazy? If I am indeed crazy and should not sell those watches, what do you think I should add to the collection? Christopher! Well done, Christopher. Uh, this is a very, very good question. And I got to tell you, I have this mental dilemma all the time. I have this same mental dilemma all the time. I do. I have this mental dilemma. Um, do I sell off a big chunk of pieces and buy some fucking extreme dream watch? And uh, <coughs> it's a hard one. It's a hard one. And, you know, it's funny. When I've got a real expensive fuck-off watch, I think, geez, if I sold this, I could get some really nice steel stunners. And then when I got the steel stunners, I say, oh, you know, I could sell five of these fuckers off and I could get a really fucking fantastic precious metal piece. So <laughs> it's a constant dilemma. And uh, I got to tell you, it's, it's, it's fucking tricky. It's tricky. I mean, if I have a look at my watch box at the moment, this is four of mine in the rotation. So I got my Breitling Super Ocean Heritage 2, my Bregster, the Breg A Type 20. I got my EAWC Inji. And I got my Reverso, which I can't sell. And because of personal reasons. And I got my Zenith. Now, if I sold everything off except my my uh my reverse so i could get a real fuck off piece you know you just look at the money you think to yourself oh fuck 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 i could say well i'd get this is aussie dollars five and three is eight eight plus seven is uh 15 15 plus my zenith of twenty thousand twenty thousand aussie well, 20,000 Aussie, I could get a 5196. I want a 5916 Paddock. I could get a great, I could get a Saxonia Lange. Or I could put a little bit more in and get a um, Lange, Lange 1. Lange 1. And it's a real fucking problem. What do you do? 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 And you, you want to you get something <laughs> amazing. But it's a, it's a bit of a hard question to do. And... I gotta be completely honest with you. It's something you've gotta fucking. We people, we get bored. Like we, we want change. You know, we want to. But sometimes it's dumb to sell these off. You look at some of the pieces. So if you kept the sub, you got a Hulk, you got a Batman, you got a Polar. I mean, fuck, man, those are three killer Rolexes. 
They're not fucking shitters. They're not fucking shitters. They are fucking amazing. You've got a 3186 Explorer 2. That's fucking impossible to find. <laughs> I mean, fuck me dead. That's, that's, a, that's a hard piece to get. Uh, the Batman and the fucking Hulk. Long waiting lists. Long waiting lists. Fucker Roonies. Long waiting lists. And uh, I gotta tell you, I really, really think in my case there, what would you do? An ice balloon. Now, you didn't tell me whether you're gonna get a 36 mil or a, a day date 2 or a day date 40. You didn't quite tell me the specs there, but it doesn't matter. I understand the mental dilemma. Um. <clears throat> My general advice is, I think, I mean, I've had precious metal a number of times. I've never had platinum, okay, never had platinum. Um, I'd probably stay with steel stunners. I think the steel stunners you've got, they're highly desirable. They're very hard to get models. I'd probably wait with them. It's like my collection here. It's very easy to say, oh, sell this, sell that. No, oh, ding, 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 ding. But hang on a minute. If you've got nice examples of them, do you really want to sell them? Nice examples. Like, you know, like I, I love my Bragster. Okay. But I've got a nice, beautiful, clean example. No nasty chips, scrapes, gouges. Um, it's fucking nice. Where am I going to get another one like that? If I have a look at my Breitling Super Ocean, that came from Shawnee from European Watch Gallery. It was three days old. The guy bought it on Boxing Day last year, had it for three days, then he sold it to Shawnee. And then I got it. I mean, fuck! That's as close to new as you can get. So where the fuck am I going to get one like that, close to new is like that, for the money I paid? I don't know where the fuck you'd get that. Uh, my Inji, my Ingenua. I mean, I love, I love the, this has got the in-house movement. It's been serviced by IWC. It used to belong to my really cool friend, Scotty. I love Scotty. Scotty's like a brother to me. I love my Scotty. Uh, he loved and lusted after this piece, and I own it. He was lusting after it. Uh, so, I mean, you know, where do where you, where you get another one of those? From? And, and, my, and my, my Zenith. Man, such a cool story. It came from Scotty. I had the most sexiest girl. Okay, she was a 10 at Monards. This was the most stunning Asian girl I've seen in my life. Absolute fucking knockout. Absolute knockout. And uh, she said, oh, you've got a Zenith El Primo. You've got the open, open heart one. Can I please touch it? Can I have a look at it? I mean, she touched my Zenith. You, you, you understand? I mean... Isn't that fucking cool? A really, she said it should be a 9 or a 10. A 10 out of 10 touched my Zenith. And then I'm going to give it away to some fucking asshole I don't even like. He's going to nickel and dime me and ask me what's the lowest I'll sell it for. And uh, he's going to try and try and criticize it. And he's just a cunt. So my advice is if you've got nice pieces, I, I wouldn't really be selling them to get one precious metal. If you really, really want the precious metal, that's okay. I got a friend of mine who's actually getting himself a yellow gold Daytona very shortly. And he's swapping a Hulk and a Hulk. He's swapping a Hulk and a Batman. But they're doubles. He's got two Hulks. Is he swapping? No, he's not swapping a Hulk. He's swapping a... What's he swapping? Oh, a James Cameron. James Cameron and a Batman. But he's got two. They're doubles. So I said, hey, that's okay, you can do that. But if you've only got one of them, ooh, they're nice watches. You don't want to get rid of that. So my honest advice is, I love precious metals, but if you've got good examples, I probably wouldn't do it, okay? Because nice, clean examples, they're not so easy to get. They are not so easy to get. So, yeah, I, I just... Be a bit reluctant. That's my honest advice there. That's my honest opinion. That's my honest advice. I'm just trying to be as transparent as possible. I think 
you've got some amazing things. Yes, you can say you can have a platinum one, but how, how many people do you really want to fuck off and say, I got platinum? It's all a fucking wank, okay? So in my opinion, I probably wouldn't. What would I add? Now that's a good question. What would I add? Instead of that, what would I add? <coughs> I'd, I'd buy yourself something amazing. You got a sub. You really love your Rolex. I, I respect that. I respect that. You know what I would do if I were you? How about you get a two-tone, a two-tone, um, how about you get a two-tone GMT? Two-tone GMT ceramic. See, they're quite, quite, they're a fucking amazing, beautifully done with the new bracelet. That's, if you want a bit of gold in your life, that'd be a cool way to go. Uh, that's, that's, that's the way I'd do it. That's the way I'd do it. So, there you go, guys. That's a bit of food for thought. I'm the pontiff, the guru's guru, Archie Luxury, on the Poor Pluto channel. So, guys, remember, like, subscribe, tell your fuckhead friends, and keep watching the Archie Luxury and the Poor Pluto channel. Fuckeroonies, fuckeroonies. Here are six watches I've been offered. They offered to put my name on the dial. They offered to make it exclusive to the Archie Luxury channel. They'd do anything to climb into bed with me. And I said no. That's right. I said no. Oh, and don't forget, fuckeroonies, like, subscribe, and tell your fuckhead friends. And don't forget to mention the Archie Luxury Travel Channel. That's where I'm doing live shows, fuckers. Wow.